Travel Across America with me. A power pack drink instead of a greasy hamburger? Oh, really? Yes, really. Give this one a try. I want to share a recipe. We will be going step by step on how I make one of my most favorite protein drinks. Let's get started. I like using my Nutribullet, but use whatever kind of blender you prefer. I start with a half of a cup of crushed ice and one frozen ripe banana. You know when you buy bananas and they start turning black and mushy and you don't know what to do with them? I peel them and, and put them in a Ziploc and place them in the freezer so that I can use them for the smoothies. So one frozen ripe banana. Next, I'm going to add one tablespoon of organic nut butter. It's best if you can get organic, some sort of nut butter, and this one as it advertises one ingredient. In most foods, if you can find it's one ingredient, that's a really good choice most of the time. Next, one to two teaspoons of organic MCT oil. If you don't know about the benefits of this little jewel, you might want to investigate MCT oil. It stands for medium chain triglycerides, organic of course. I then include one tablespoon of organic yogurt. This is a great way to get your probiotics. I enjoy kefir, not so much, but this yogurt is very close, but I prefer this over kefir. But I do like kombucha, and a lot of people don't like kombucha, but there's a lot to be said about getting a probiotic, and this is one great way. And of course, organic. And then next, we're going to add one tablespoon of organic hemp seed hearts. This and the next several items are good choices for getting omega-3 and your fatty acids and protein. After all, we're making a protein drink. Next, one tablespoon of organic chia seed. Some people like to soak their chia seed and use them for all kinds of things, like as an egg substitute, but we toss chia seeds in a lot of different items. Have you subscribed yet? If not, please subscribe. And if you have, thank you. Next, we're going to add one to two scoops of protein powder. Now this will be something you will need to investigate on what suits your diet best. And when I say diet, I don't necessarily mean your weight loss program. I mean, what kind of diet are you on? Are you on a keto diet? Are you trying to bulk up? Are you trying to tone? Are you just trying to get a little healthy something in your day instead of a greasy hamburger? There are a lot of choices on protein powder. And then there's water. You can add different fruit juices or whatever, but I like to just use water and we have an aqua ionizer and we like to use alkaline water for teas, coffee, and cooking and our drinking water. So I will be adding enough water to get to the max line. I have a bad habit of going over the max line and it's really not a good idea. They put it there for a reason. So I actually kept the water at the line this time. So let me go over this real quick. A half a cup of crushed ice, one frozen ripe banana, one tablespoon organic nut butter, one to two teaspoons of organic MCT oil, one tablespoon of organic yogurt, one tablespoon of organic hemp seed hearts, one tablespoon organic chia seed, one to two scoops of protein powder, and some quality water to the fill line. Now, this doesn't really cost that much, a lot of these items, they may seem expensive when you buy the one bag, but it lasts a really long time, especially if you're only using a tablespoon. I'm also going to put in one tablespoon of cacao nibs. Now this is a really good source of flavor and of course unsweetened and organic. And I will be adding a dash of high quality cinnamon. We happen to be using some Vietnamese cinnamon at this time. All the items in there, ready to go. You don't want to run this puppy much longer than a minute and a half or you'll burn him up. Now, sometimes I have trouble getting this lid off. It gets really cranked down. So one of the handy dandy things that I use in the kitchen is this oil filter remover. You know the one that goes outside in the garage that you use to remove the oil filter? I have one in my kitchen drawer and I use it for all kinds of jars. I love using it to unscrew the base of the Nutribullet to get those blades off because sometimes it just gets cranked on there. Just a little kitchen tip. So buy one. Don't let it go out in the garage. Just keep it in the kitchen. 
leave a comment below. Hope you'll give this recipe a try. You don't have to use exactly what I've put in here. I'm just trying to give you some ideas on a great smoothie and a great substitute to help you have a better meal choice. There's not a whole lot of cleanup involved here. That's my coffee cup from the morning. And yes, I do drink organic coffee, organic cream, and a little MCT oil. Oftentimes, I put a little dash of cinnamon, a little bit of cayenne to give it a little extra kick. All pretty good for you too. But again, not a whole lot of dishes for this which is helpful. You don't have the greasy pan. You don't have the spatula. This is just a great option. One other thing I found that sometimes when the smoothies are extra thick, just a normal straw makes it a little bit harder to suck through. So when you can find a straw somewhere that has a little bit larger diameter, it'll help you drinking your smoothies. House shoes on the ground. Of course I have on house shoes. I'm in the house. You think I wear my flip flops in the house? and classic road trip. Thanks for watching. Hope you give it a try.